sherry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Only the best here, Miss Tinker. Thanks very much. Sandwich? Oh, no, thank you. Anchovy and peanut butter. Not quite my cup of tea. <laughs> Frank, Sherry? Oh, thank you very much. Lovely. Uh, my favourite. There we are. Cheers. Jim? Uh, no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> there we are. Don't drink it all at once. Yeah. Top stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> As you all know, we're all gathered here to greet our new vicar. I'm sorry it's such an awful night. I can't fix everything. <laughs> well, you did get our cat fixed, didn't you? <laughs> I think our new vicar has arrived. Either that or the milkman's very late again. <laughs> Hello? Hello, could you hurry? Sitting down out here. It's raining very hard now, please. Hello. Hello. David Honiton. Uh, uh, Hawtrey. Horton. Horton. That's the chap. Could you just take these while I... Cheers, bye. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Geraldine. Believe you're expecting me. No, I'm expecting our new vicar. Unless, of course, you are the new vicar and they've landed us with a woman as <laughs> some sort of insane joke. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my God! <laughs> you were expecting a bloke? Beard, Bible, bad breath. Yes, that sort of thing. Yeah. And instead you've got a babe with a bobcat and a magnificent bosom. So I see. <laughs> well, don't worry. It'll be all right. You need a stiff drink. So do I. Come on, David. Hello. I'm Geraldine. Call me Jerry. Delighted to meet you. I'm Hugo. Call me Hugo. Right. Do mind if I say that that is a devastatingly smart tie, Hugo? Is it? Yes. Shall we go in there? Ladies and gentlemen, your new vicar. Hello, Geraldine. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> How do you do? Uh, I'm Frank Pickle. I, I take the minutes on the council. Splendid. Very important job. Do forgive me if I instantly forget your name, won't you? I'm absolutely dreadful with names. Ask me to name the Virgin Mary's eldest son and... Nope, mine's gone black. <laughs> Jesus. That's it! Yes! Hello, Geraldine. Jerry. Uh, Letitia, Letty, uh, Cropley. Uh, out of the flowers in the church. Oh, splendid. Mm. And what have we got in this week? Uh, well, we're in mourning for the Reverend Pottle. Of course. Mm. Lovely. Mm. Carnations. Yes. Mm. And uh, I thought I'd put in a pineapple as well. <laughs> mm. Unusual. Mm. <laughs> and, and you are? Uh, no, 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 Jim. Jim. No, 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 no. N not Jim. No, no, no. Yes, Jim. <laughs> good, good. And finally, delighted to meet you. This is Miss Tinker. She was the verger under the Reverend Pottle. Oh, splendid. Do you want to go on with the job? Oh yes, please, Mum. I'd like. That. Good, good. Don't call me Mum. Sounds like the Queen. Lovely lady, but very odd taste in hats. Don't you think, Miss Tinker? <laughs> Yes, I yes, do. yes, yes. Oh, um, you can call me Alice. Right. Because it's my name. <laughs> right. Perhaps we should talk about all this in the morning. Yes, thanks. Ooh, ooh, do you mind? Absolutely hate a Montiardo. You wouldn't have any whiskey, would you? Um, certainly. Uh, yes. Good. I, I wouldn't mind a whiskey if there's one going. <laughs> uh, me too. Jim? Oh, no, 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 no. Please no, yourself. No. Uh, yes, I'll have one whiskey. <laughs> Let's have the vote. I propose we give the Reverend a chance. At least see how she does on Sunday. Right. All those in favour of Mr. Newitt's excellent proposition. Bravo. Oh. All those against? Oh, this is ridiculous. All I can say is that the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. I think you will find that our little community does not react well to the indignity of a vicar in high heels and rallies behind me in the desire to keep up the traditions that have made this village and the Church of England what they are today. I take it that's a no? <laughs> yes. God, your father's handsome when he's angry, isn't he? <laughs> In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I'd like to say
start by singing Zippity Doo Dah because it is such a thrill to see so many of you here. But I think we should stick with tradition and sing hymn number 199. <laughs> I know a lot of you were surprised to find that your vicar's a woman. Not as surprised as me. All the way through my teens, I was convinced that, naturally, I would become a supermodel and marry either Eric Clapton or David Soule, as you do. And then one day, I read the Sermon on the Mount, and it was so fantastic, that was it. I decided there and then to abandon the catwalk and give the dog collar a try. So, here I am, at your service, totally yours, any time, any day. Although if you come to see me first thing in the morning, wear dark glasses. Because before my face falls into place, I look frighteningly like Bernard Manning. <laughs> no, it's true, I do, it's scary. Now, let's sing hymn number 300. And I always think it sounds best if you shout on the bread of heaven bit. <laughs> Marks out of ten, Alice. Seventeen. Uh, come in. Oh, Owen, what did you think? Missed most of it, I'm afraid, oh. otherwise engaged. Oh, the stomach's still bad. To be frank, it's like the Battle of the Somme down there. Oh, Jim, did you enjoy it? No, 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 no. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you'll definitely be staying on now. Oh, yes, yeah. you will. <laughs> Fingers crossed. No, it's dead cert. Mm. I haven't been more certain of anything since I opened the envelope telling me how many O-levels I'd passed. Mm. And how many did you pass? None, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's the most people we've had in the church since that Lady Godiva thing three years ago. Oh, what was that? Oh, we were celebrating the summer solstice and we thought it'd be fun to reenact Lady Godiva. No, 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 where's my dress? <laughs> a lot of people turned up, but unfortunately it was rather disappointing. Lady Godiva wearing a body stocking? No. She was absolutely stark naked. Wow. Uh, well, I hadn't had time to go to the hairdresser, so I wasn't looking my best. I bet you were, you sauce pot. <laughs> <laughs> Enter if you're sexy and love Jesus. Leave me. I'd better be off then. <laughs> Abyssinia, <laughs> yes. I just thought I'd tell you that I put the new Bible onto the lectern and, dare I say, it looks slightly better than the paperback it replaces. You know, funky news for modern man. Why don't you come in, David? I'm waiting from that Tristram bloke from Songs of Praise. Oh, I wouldn't raise your hopes, Vicar. He'll be some sad old soak whose career peaked when he directed Badger Watch. Yes. <laughs> You always think people at the BBC are going to be glamorous and then you remember Nicholas Witchell works there. <laughs> Besides which, most of them are so homosexual they make John Inman look like Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> oh, that'll be him now. <laughs> oh. You must be Geraldine. Yes. Tristan. Hi. Come, come on in. Thank you. <laughs> Do a uh, walk through there. Here? Yeah. And this is David Horton, Chairman of the Parish Council. David, this is Tristan. How do you do? Have you ever worked with John Inman, Tristan? <laughs> it's just that David's an enormous fan of his. Oh. <laughs> Afraid not. Camp comedy's not quite my cup of tea, but... No, mine neither. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I really must be going. There's some wrestling on I'm very keen to see. <laughs> Good night. Coffee? Yes, thank you. <laughs> it's very good of you to let us do this. I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Mind instant? No, that's great. <laughs> I've only got a few minutes, but, uh, great. <laughs> Do, uh, sit down. Absolutely. <laughs> so, how's it going in the parish? 
Have you met a lot of opposition? Well, David's a bit hostile, but I can manage it. Yes, you often find it's the gay Anglo-Catholics who kick up the most fuss. <laughs> yes. Although David's not... A... Yes, yes, you're right, yes, it is. About the programme. <laughs> Any ideas about hymns? Well, somebody did request Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. David? Yes, I think it was him, yes. <laughs> oh, look, it's a new jar. Absolutely love that popping sound it makes, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <dear. laughs> It is fun, yes. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> Moving on, then. <laughs> um, about the readings, we'd love one of the readers to be a woman. Oh, not me. Well, you've got to do the sermon. Of course, yes. Mustn't hog everything, must I? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be uh, keeping the sermon in, then, will you? Oh, yes, it's very much the heart of the programme. I really love people to get a glimpse of the woman underneath the cassock. <laughs> I assume you're talking spiritually, then? <laughs> yes, I'm talking spiritually. What else could he have meant? I want to get some close-up of your pants. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. mm. I really better be going. I am very late. Absolutely, and the traffic this time of night is just <laughs> non-existent. Non-existent. <laughs> yes. I'll send someone down to wreck the church if that's okay for the cameras. Yes, it's not just okay. It's okie dokie. <laughs> well, good night, Geraldine. Yes, you're lovely. No, uh, sorry, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, welcome to lovely to meet you. Welcome to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh God, I did a pig impression. I can't believe it. <laughs> Settle down, everyone. It's nearly on. Very exciting. <laughs> Good luck. Can't sing a tune, I suppose you might as well make up for it in volume. I feel it in my fingers. <laughs> I feel it in my toes. <laughs> in my toes. Love is all around me. Oh, no. fun so choice. But I think it works. <laughs> So the feeling grows. You must, you Jesus. must give me the name of that mascara. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's no beginning, on Jesus' love. You can depend. Yes, you can depend. You next pick up. This is your sermon. This is the first time I've been here. I did once apply to go on Mastermind, but they didn't like my special subject. Apparently, there just aren't enough questions about the Bombles. <laughs> <laughs> it's even funnier than I remember. Oh, here comes Alice. Oh, surely they've cut this. Oh, Alice. Oh, shush, 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 everyone. Shush. Yes. It'll be fine. You'll see. <laughs> the lesson is taken from the sixth chapter of the Song of Solomon, beginning at the second verse. Ye are the fault of the earth and fainted. <laughs> sainted. God shall feel, seal your endeavours until ye fit on his right hand. <laughs> Therefore, fight the good fight for his Fake, and he shall be thy sucker. Sucker, he shall be thy sucker. Oh, sucker. You see, nobody would have noticed, would they, David? No, no, of course not. Not if they were watching the other side. <laughs> the trouble is, I don't know anyone famous. Well, join the club. The only showbiz person that I knew is my second cousin, but I haven't seen him since I was four. His name was Reg Dwight. <laughs> His mum, right, got cross at me because 
I pulled his hair to stop him playing the piano when a whole handful came out. Red, white. We called him Baldy. Unfortunately, we didn't see that side of the family after that. But... Red, Dwight. Alice, mm? I think it's time you contacted your little cousin. Oh, all right. Oh, it would be nice to see old Specky Four Eyes again. No, look. You mean he turned into Elton John? Yes! God's path is for walking, Alice. Yes, Mrs. Crosby. <laughs> Sad, isn't it, when people fail? They have their little dreams and they just don't quite make it. Jeremy Bates, Peter Sarstedt, Graham Taylor, our vicar. You don't think she's found anyone? Hugo, our vicar has as many connections with the rich and famous as I have with the Black Panther movement. <laughs> Mark my words, they'll soon be begging me to open the fair. <laughs> 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 Elton John? Well, that's pretty good, isn't it, Father Air? Elton John? Hello, handsome. And David, how are you? In perfect health. <laughs> Hooray! We're all hunky-dory here. It seemed to me that she lived her life like a candle in the wind. <laughs> no, 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 no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly good name. I'd love to take the credit, but of course it's all down to lovely Alice. Three cheers for Alice. We won't let the sun go down on her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running my own stall too. Creatures from the planet Elton. Good Lord. That looks like an Indian elephant. Oh, does it? <laughs> what about you, Jim? Got a stall? No, 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 no. I'm doing the loud speaking announcements. <laughs> I forget who did it last time. At least this year we've got a professional judge doing the flowers instead of some awful amateur. Who was it last time? Uh, right, I'll let you get on with it then. <laughs> Come on, Hugo. Coming, Father. Great giraffe, too. Brilliant, just leaving out the head. <laughs> ah. No, Vicar. I've heard about these rock star types, and I'm rather afraid you'll be expecting someone to supply some drugs. <laughs> yes? Problem is, I've been asking down the pub, and no one seems to have any heroin. <laughs> do you think night nurse will do? Absolutely. Works every time. Good thinking, Owen. <laughs> is Elton John in your house? Uh, ask the vicar. <laughs> Where's he coming out? He came out years ago. <laughs> oh, all I've done for you. I could have been a prima ballerina. Hello, vicar. <laughs> yes? I'm um, sorry to interrupt. Has Elton arrived? Elton? Yeah, I, I heard he was opening the fair. I thought I'd just drop by and surprise him. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. Thank you, mate. Kylie, I'm going to come clean with you, you totally fabulous woman. There's been a bit of a hiccup on the Elton front. Well, not so much a hiccup, more like a huge, great big belch with an accidental bit of sick in it. You wouldn't do me the teeniest favour, would you? Like what? May I just say one thing before I reply to that? If you do this, no matter what you do on Earth, sex, drugs, Ritual Satanism. I can guarantee you the best seat in heaven. You and God, like that, next to each other. Jesus, Rosie, Elvis serving the drinks. Gandhi, sod him. Huh? 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 Well, uh, my mother did always tell me never say no to a priest. I love your mother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kyle, is that a thought of going into the priesthood yourself? Uh, no, I can't say I have. Oh, but you'd be so good at it. From goddess to priestess, one simple move. You might have to think about changing your wardrobe. Church of England hasn't come to terms with hot pants yet. I know, I've tried. <laughs>
There has been a slight change to the published schedule for today. Slight, as in Hitler was slightly nasty. I'm afraid um, Elton John won't be able to join us. Isn't life a wonderful thing sometimes? But we are delighted to welcome in his stead one of Oxfordshire's most popular entertainers. Yes, it's Reg Dwight. What a coup. <laughs> And just for you here today, we are so lucky, 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 <laughs> to have with us the genuinely perfect, I don't care what the Bible says about girls kissing girls, I'd snog her any day, <laughs> the one, the only, Kylie Minogue. <laughs> yeah! I, I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it is thinking of taking holy orders next autumn, so enjoy her while you can. <laughs> isn't it fabulous, Father? Yes, isn't it? She's always been one of my favourite contemporary entertainers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to declare the Dibley Fair officially open. Filthy weather. No, 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 I have no worse. Oh, yes? When was that, then? The great storm. When the windmill got blown over. That wasn't the great storm. That was a moderately windy night. No, the really great storm was the great storm. <laughs> when was that then? When Dave Back got decapitated. That wasn't the great storm. Well, it was pretty damn great. No, the, the greatest storm was the one when old Harold got blown into the quarry. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> The great wind. The what? The great storm has got to be rain. And in the great wind, there was just wind. <laughs> a nasty night. Oh, it reminds me of the great storm. Shut up. <laughs> right, let's get this over and done with, shall we? Ooh, uh, I have apologies from Hugo and the vicar. Uh, first on the agenda, we've been asked to make a contribution to the South American Earthquake Appeal. I thought perhaps ten pounds. Oh, it's not much, is it? <laughs> Hundreds of kiddies dying of starvation, and we can only spare a tenner. What did you have in mind? Well, I don't know. Eleven quid? Done. <laughs> don't worry, sir. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Yes, in my experience, it's more of a case of red sky at night, thatch cottage on fire at the end of the village. <laughs> I love this kind of weather. Do you remember the great snow? Oh, yes. <laughs> Throws your balls off. Poor old Gladys. <laughs> what about her? Well, she died, didn't she? In the great snow. Froze to death one Friday. No, 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 that was the great frost. <laughs> It, 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 it were the bottle twins, Mabel and Edith, that froze to death in the great snow of 54. Rubbish! The bottles died in the great freeze of 48. <laughs> and I'm about to die in the great bore of 94. How exciting! It's just like the great eclipse of 53. <laughs> Shut up! Sound of music when Julie Andrews was scared, she sang about her favourite things. <laughs> yes. Can we do that? You want the short answer or the long answer? Uh, both, please. Well, the short answer is no, mm. and the long answer is no. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll do it. We'll oh. do it. Do you know the words? Oh, yes, I, I never forget the words of songs. Never. I'm famous for it. Well, I... then, off you go. Okay, then. Oh, um, would you count me in, please? Okay. 
Snowdrops on roses and noses on kittens. Da da dee da 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 mittens. Tum titty tum titty tum titty tings. These are a few of my favourite things. When the birds. Yeah. Vicar, I have had a rather brilliant thought. Really? I've got this piggy bank. My dad, right, used to put all his money in it and he said that when I grew up I could open it and buy a castle. Did your dad have a reputation for telling the truth? Oh, yeah. My mum knew all about his kids in the other villages. <laughs> Hugo. Hello, Vicar. I've just had this tremendous thought. My God, it's like being in ancient Greece at the birth of philosophy here. We know Richard Branson, and, and maybe he could sponsor the window. I mean, oh. he, he looks like Jesus, what with the beard and the big smile and everything. Yes, yes. And he runs Virgin, and, and Jesus' mum was, well, you know. Hello, Hugo. Hello, Alice. Nice piggy bank. Yeah. How much does it add up to? Well, excluding everything that isn't actually legal tender mm. in the United Kingdom, a farthing. <laughs> a farthing? Yeah. Oh, right. So, quite a way to go, then. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, because Hugo's had his excellent idea. Red letter day. <laughs> his father must know millions of millionaires just dying for a shortcut to heaven. David, it's the Vixter here. Hi. <laughs> Look, I just had an idea. Could you give me the names of, say, five of your richest friends? I was thinking we could squeeze them for the money for the window. What do you think? It is a ridiculous and, may I say, a very immature idea. Thank you. What a kind and supportive man. What did you say? Oh, what a guy. He said he's a bit busy at the moment and could you give me the numbers? Oh, right, right. I suppose, um, Lord Hanson. Very sexy. 071. Hello, Geraldine Granger here. Could I speak to Charles Kane, please? Ah, Mr Kane, Geraldine Granger here. I'm the vicar of St Barnabas Church and we were just wondering if you'd like to donate some money for our new window. We're looking for about £11,000 and it... <laughs> sorry? I can stick it up my where, sorry? <laughs> at my Jackson. <laughs> Excellent. Bless you. <sighs> Look, I'm going to have to fib a little bit, but bear with me, it's for a very good cause. <laughs> Hello. Uh, could I speak to Mr Frobisher, please? Daniel. Hi. Jerry Granger here. Uh, Dibley Investments. Um, you won't have heard of us. We're pretty new kids on the block. Uh, but I was just wondering if you'd be interested in a little investment portfolio we're putting together? Uh, nothing to do with Dibley, Oxfordshire. Well, yes, actually, because I'm the, vic the village postmistress's daughter. A friend of mine lives just outside. <laughs> Hairless Horton, bald by 14. Told me the other day they had a woman vicar. Yeah, I heard that, too. My mother says she's fantastic. And pretty cute, too. An all-round bodacious babe, in fact. <laughs> David says she's a bloody nightmare. Yeah. Probably fancies her. Here's an interesting thought. <laughs> she might be a virgin. I doubt it. <laughs> I know, Vicar, and she's famously the best kisser in Cheltenham. Really? Oh, yeah. Her tongue is in the home county's gymnastics team. <laughs> she can scramble eggs with it at 20 paces. We're digressing, Miss Granger. Tell me about your investment opportunity. I can't get that tongue out of my mind. Uh, can you give me any sense of the range of your portfolio? You know, bonds, stocks, gilts, peps? Uh, yeah, I've got loads of those. Uh, look, why don't we talk about it over lunch, Mr. Frobisher? OK. I'll, uh, I'll give you an hour. We've thought long and hard about it, and after much discussion and debate, we've decided that Mr. Horton is a total bastard. No, 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 that's right. So we want you to stand for the elections. Yeah. Oh, that's ridiculous. I mean, one, I'm not a candidate, and two, the only official organisations I belong to are the Tufty Club and Take That Anonymous. <laughs> we even worked out a campaign song. Yeah. Don't you argue, don't you bick, I'll vote for Jerry, she's a maker. <laughs> <laughs> and Owen's been working on a dirty tricks campaign, eh, in case anything turns nasty. <laughs> That's right. 
We've got some alternative placards. <laughs> Remember when poor old Doris Hall got run over? David Hall. <laughs> and an alternative song. In the old days, you'd vote for Horton because you thought you ought to. But remember, he's not only had your vote, he's also had your daughter. <laughs> Have you told anyone about this? Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> he's as doomed as a virgin on a date with Rod Stewart. <laughs> you win hands down. Nonsense. Do you really think so? <laughs> <coughs> I just wondered whether you'd be voting for Councillor Horton again. Horton? Is that H-O-R-T-O-N? Yes. Can he depend on your vote? No. <laughs> Are you sure? He's jolly nice. I am voting for the vicar. All oh, right. Well, she's jolly nice too. <laughs> Hello, David. Something wrong? Yes, there is a tiny hiccup. Apparently, I'm about to suffer the worst election defeat since Enoch Powell stood in Brixton on the whites-only ticket. <laughs> and do you know who they're voting for? Is it that charming Mr Smewin? Unfortunate complexion, but very no, nice... No, not Smewin. Oh. The entire village is voting for you. Me? Little me? <laughs> Silly little me and my dog collar? No, surely not. <laughs> Actually, I had heard a rumour, but I just ignored it because, after all, you are so popular. And besides, I didn't think a vicar could stand for district councillor. Yes, well, if Giles Branrith can stand for Parliament, who knows what's legal anymore? <laughs> well, I'll tell you this, David. If this is happening, if for some crazy reason every single nitwit in this wacky, mad village is going to vote for little old me, well, it's a pretty loony turn of events because, you see, I don't want to be a councillor. Well, I'm glad to hear it. So I suppose I'll have to advise my supporters who to vote for. Hmm. Well, on the one hand, we've got Kevin Smewin, short, face like an international spot convention. <laughs> About as much charisma as a pair of nylon underpants, but with a very good heart. On the other hand, oh dear. <laughs> now, obviously, I should speak to Clearasil, Kev. <laughs> but if you and I could come to some kind of arrangement, David, mm. now if I could run a few policy changes up the flagpole, see if you salute them, undress a few ideas, see if you get into bed and shag them. <laughs> well, maybe, just maybe, we could come to some accommodation. How does that idea grab you, Davy boy? What exactly do you have in mind? Well, Diddy. I was thinking we could visit a few of your constituents, make a few teensy-weensy election promises. Any other business? Yes, regarding the district council elections... You'll be getting my vote, Mr Chairman, don't you worry. Frank, the election was yesterday. <laughs> oh, was it? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I... as I was saying, I'd like to congratulate our new councillor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Particularly in light of the promises he made on election day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yes, I wanted to talk about that. Unfortunately, <laughs> I've been scrutinising our local finances and I fear that it is unlikely we will have the funds for, well, let's say, the Women's Institute or a local bus service. What? I'm terribly sorry. If anyone is unhappy about this, you will, of course, have the chance to express your dissatisfaction democratically on October the 4th. On behalf of you all. Of course. I vote we kill him. <laughs> no, 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 so do I. I could poison him if you like. <laughs> no one would ever know. No, it's too quick, too merciful. I think we should stretch it out, hit him where it really hurts. Actually increased my majority. Oh, good news, David. So the twinning visits uh, will continue? Absolutely. I hope you'll join me in Spain. Oh, certainly. I think you'll enjoy the golf here. The villagers don't really play, so it's practically like having my own course. Morning, David. <laughs> oh, good shot, Mrs. Ballesteros. <laughs> Be hard to match that one. What are you doing here? 
I do believe I'm playing golf on our public golf course. Oh, damn. Oh, looks like we're going to be here quite a while, I'm afraid. What shot are you on, Mrs. C? 111. <laughs> 111. Fantastically good value golf. I mean, every hole is practically an hour's entertainment. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, Vicar. Oh, oh, don't you worry, Frank. A few little holes here and there never did anyone any harm. Oh, we'll play through you. Go on to the second. Oh, very good idea. You can join Alice and Hugo. The rest of the WI are on holes 3 to 12. Still, I'm sure you'll find a hole free. Can I just say, David, this is a wonderful facility. Bonjour, monsieur. Bon pantalon. <laughs> I mean, all our pensioners could be out here playing every day. Watch out, Muslim! <laughs> oh, fantastically good shot, Frank. That'll soon be a bunker. <laughs> Do you know, Vicar, I think we might be able to squeeze a little money for a bus service after all. I think I need to use one of these very heavy wooden clubs for this particular shot. <laughs> Just prepare the ground. And maybe a coach for the WI. Perhaps I could come round and discuss it sometime, Mrs. Cropley. Tea time tomorrow. Perhaps not tea. Lunch, then. I've got a lovely tripe salad. Actually, I am sort of free at tea time. Splendid. All sorted, then. I think that's enough goal for one day, don't you? Mm -hmm. Don't really see what you see in it, David. <laughs> it's so easy. So, you're really having animals in the church, are you? Oh, yes, yes, we are. Will gerbils be taking Holy Communion? Oh, gosh, <laughs> it's like being on Blockbusters. Um, <laughs> they might. I don't really know. You'd have to ask the vicar. Oh, vicar, yeah. um, this gentleman wants to know about the service. Oh, have we met? No, I'm just an admirer, love. I've got a bulldog myself. <laughs> Nags me every Sunday to take him to church. <laughs> Particularly fond of the mass in Latin. I think you're taking the mickey. Oh, no. Everyone at the paper's really excited about it. Sheep singing hymns. It's a brilliant idea, isn't it? Can we have a picture, Vicar? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> have you seen this? No. What? What? What is it? <gasps> oh, my God. Who is that? <laughs> That's Jabba the Hutt, isn't it? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Goat. Bar men. <laughs> and listen, they've written a special Lord's Prayer for you. Our Father, who art in doggy heaven, hallowed be thy main, thy kingdom come, thy pedigree chum, <laughs> on earth as it is in Battersea Dog's home. For heaven's sake. And you're actually quoted as saying that gerbils will be given Holy Communion. I'll tell you, if that young journalist comes near me again, pretty soon after you'll find me wearing an intriguing pair of testicle-shaped earrings. <laughs> what I actually said... The was... point is that you shouldn't have said anything at all. Well, I know that. But they didn't have horns and tails, so we didn't realise they were from the tabloids. <laughs> the trouble is that you don't realise anything. You're a good woman with a good heart, but you should be running a cake stall, not a church. And I'm afraid, dear lady, the time has come, for the sake of this community, for me to begin proceedings to have you replaced. What? I'll see myself out. Oh, God. Have you seen me? Yes, I have. Oh, I haven't been so depressed since David Bowie married a stick insect. <laughs> oh... Well, that's it. We're just going to have to cancel. Everybody's laughing at us. No, some people are laughing at us. But if I'd stopped doing what I was doing just because people were laughing at me, I'd have stood stock still all my life. The problem is, Big Chief David Wigwamhead is genuinely on the warpath. I could soon be paddleless up a rather famous creek, the name of which rhymes with Brit. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll stick by you. And I can be a pretty scary opponent, as Gavin Hart discovered when he tried to look at my pants in the playground. <laughs> and I stabbed him in the head with a protractor. Yeah, he's a nice one. Are you going to the animal service, Jim? No, 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 no. I haven't made up my mind yet. I don't like missing Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> How about you, Letitia? 
Oh, yes. The question is whether to bring along the snails I've got for my new recipe. Oh. <laughs> what recipe is that? Bread and butter pudding surprise. <laughs> oh, dear. I just trod in something brown and it's certainly not chocolate cake. Now, are you coming to the animal service, Owen? Ah, well, I don't know, you see. I might not be fit for it. After all the drinking on Saturday night to celebrate my great pumpkin victory. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sam Hope, from what I hear, your pumpkins are no, 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 no bigger than your balls. Can I see? Oh, look at your little baby face. What's his name? Satan. Satan. <laughs> right. Good. Well, I hope he enjoys the sermon. Rather brave of him to come at all, really. <laughs> Although, yes, uh, actually, actually, I... Well, spit it out, boy. Actually, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure it is such a, a, a ripping plan, I, I, in fact. I beg your pardon? Well, it, it seems to me that uh, sitting here doing, uh, if you'll pardon my French, sod two... Uh, <laughs> Is in fact uh, a pretty damn poor idea uh, in, in comparison to taking old Bruno up to the church to thank God for the animals uh, uh, upon which the economic and social life of our village is based, uh, uh, and thanks to whom the lonely uh, and old people aren't lonely uh, 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 and don't feel old, even though most of them ought to have been buried before the war. <laughs> and I'm talking about the Boer War here. <laughs> in fact, I suspect it's just being proud uh, 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 and waging a rather childish war against Mrs. God. And so it's not so much a good plan uh, 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 as the worst plan since Hitler's dad said to Hitler's mum, let's go upstairs, Brunhilde, I'm feeling a little saucy tonight. <laughs> you do what you think is right, then. Right. Fair enough. Classic. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen and others, just before we go into the church, I'd like you all to join me in a prayer. Dear Lord, who rode into Jerusalem on the back of a faithful donkey, bless all these wonderful creatures here today. Give them shiny coats and full udders and tasty milk. And may one of them unexpectedly win the Grand National next year. <laughs> 200 to 1, when we've all had a little flutter. <laughs> Amen. Come on, Bruno. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Come on, Bruno. Let's go, boy. In for a penny, in for a pound. Come on, Patricia. Off to church. <laughs> You lazy old thing. Don't argue. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Now, let's start with our first hymn, shall we? Which is, of course, the classic, All Things Bright and Beautiful.